In this video, I am going to provide you with another example of how you can build this type of stairway with a riser on it instead of the open tread design. Now, I already showed you how to build this in a previous video, and I will put a link in the video and try to put one in the video description area also to show you how to build the stairway with this type of structural design. Now, the new design that I am going to provide you with will help out with this area or the wider space or span between a couple of the stringers that we have here and basically we have three bays this one this one and this one here however to build this I want to point out that you will need to move all of the bottom framing plates back an inch and a half and cut an inch and a half off of all of the stringers all of them to make this design work and don't worry about it if you don't do it the only difference will be that you'll need to add another riser at the top instead of using the rim joist on the deck so that's going to look something like this when we move it all back and then put our risers on and since I alternated the cuts you'll end up with part of the riser extending past the stringer and a couple of other sections that will be even with the edge of the stringer where the riser will come past and stop at the front edge of the riser here. So not too difficult. And you can see here where the cantilevered section will help to provide a little extra structural support to this stringer and this stringer here. And then this one here to this stringer here. And I would like to say to this stringer here, but this one's sitting on top of the framing plates. So this riser going in both directions really won't make that much of a difference. However, it will up here. And it will also provide us with a little more nailing or if you're going to use screws, or you could even bolt the riser to the stringer to provide us with a little more support. And since we're alternating the risers, this one here will come past to the front of this riser. And then this one here will stop and then this one will come past. And I'm just doing this to provide you with another method. You could have all of the risers look like this corner here or all of them look like this corner here or even miter them. And you will need to check with your local building department to see what the building codes are in your area as to whether or not you need to add a riser because some building codes do not allow a maximum of a four inch space which at the very minimum might require you to put a two by four here and redesign the stairway to make that work and if we take a look at the treads you can see where the treads are sitting on top of this section and then these treads stop and then the next ones will sit on top of this section and that pattern will alternate all the way down and end up looking some Something like this and again for those of you who are interested in building a stairway like this make sure that you check out some of our other videos in the stair design section at the website to make sure that this is the pattern you want to use instead of some of our other innovative designs that you might be the first one to actually build